So here's an interesting update. This is something that happens every couple of days. Murray starts with the black beard running around his, uh, his tank. And just very, very unsettled. Granted, it's springtime in this hemisphere, the northern hemisphere. The light does affect him starting December 21st. See, he's climbing around. Now, here's the other part. Rose, <laughs> poor Rose, she's shedding around her eye. She will go bananas, too. You can see, she's at the corner here. And there's his tank. And I'll just give you a big picture. They really want to get together. I'm holding off on this. You know, I've had her about 50 days, really. She's four years old, and she's just very... She's a slip of a dragon. <laughs> She's very lightweight. She's a third of his weight. See, she's like, I want to get to the... I can smell him. He's healthy and strong. You know, that's wonderful. Murray is very healthy, very strong. He is 24 inches in length. Um, if you're in another part of the world, 24 inches is the maximum, typical, typical maximum for dragons. He's very healthy. I, I lucked out. I really did. I had a lot of help from Animal One Guy on YouTube. Check his stuff out. He's very, very good. He really helped, especially with the lighting. And he helped me. <laughs> she wants attention. You always do that. She wants more worms. She wants attention. She knows that gets me to come over and check out what's going on. Um, so she's fine. I see you. I see you. She's like, please let me out. If I open the door, she'll climb onto me and try to get over to Murray. And that's good. But I'm not letting this happen yet. She's um, she's not as strong as him. She's got um, a little bit of a watery eye, so something's going on there. And I'm just trying to boost her weight a little bit. And, you know, maybe after a few months, I'll introduce them. But right now, and look at this. Look how black his beard is and how Cheeto orange he makes his <laughs> Murray, you're beautiful. The females like the color black. That's why they do that. But but he'll do this. And after a while, he'll settle down. And then she will too. See, she's already, I don't care anymore. She's already relaxed. But she does get a little bit of a black beard there on the edge. And see, she's still got the crazy eye. <laughs> she's very focused. Um, she Because they smell each other. They let, let out pheromones. I love her so much. She's doing great. She's she's eating a lot more than when I got her, and I can tell she's gaining a little bit of weight. But she doesn't move as fast as him. That's the big deal. Um, and I've never introduced dragons before, so I'm getting some guidance from Animal One Guy, just for them to have little play dates, you know, to get out of their tank and do some Something together, a little bit of enrichment, but not in a way that would harm either of them. Because dragons can bite, and it's it's pretty intense. They can bite off a tip of a tail. They can bite off fingers. Um, but look at this. Look how, look how black his beard. Come here, Murray. <laughs> he just gets restless for a while. He does his little dance. Like, come on, I know I'm pretty. And yes, you are. But this is interesting. And, you know, I have this towel up in between their tanks. They can't see each other, but they definitely communicate with the pheromones. So this has been interesting to watch. And I feel bad for them. I do. I know, little girl. I know you want me to open the door. When I first got her, she kept acting like she wanted out of the tank. I'd take her out of the tank, and she would crawl over me and towards his tank. So I've got a video of that. So they did meet. They have seen each other. But he knew, right, you know, the, the first day I had her here. Within a few hours, he could smell that there was a female here. And he started doing this. I went out. Did you just... Of course, when I moved the thing away, you jump. Okay, let's go over here. You gonna jump again? That was so fast. That was so fast. You know, the video from when I, the first day I got her, she did not move like that. She moved okay. Not the most nimble dragon. She's like, 
Come on, let me out. Let me out, Mom. He's trying. He's trying. And this is a regular occurrence. If you have more than one dragon, especially if it's male and female, springtime in your hemisphere, they're going to do this. And if I could have them in different rooms, this wouldn't happen, but I wouldn't be able to see both of them. So I've got my work desk right here. Well, thank you so much for watching. Feel free to comment if you want to see something else. I'll be happy to record. And subscribe if you want to see more updates from Rose and Murray. He's trying so hard. I know there's a female. All right. Have a good day, everyone.